So guys, today, back from another video, on the channel today we have the new Castle United vs Tottenham Hotspur predicted team. Massive game tomorrow, hopefully Newcastle United can pick up 3 points and keep that good form and run going. Before I start the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to go and see the preview, I put that, I put that at the top, there'll be a link in the description and on the end screen on the outro. If you haven't seen that video already, make sure to do so. Anyways, let's get it now. This is my predicted team. I say it in every video in case someone's you watching it. This is the team that I think will get predicted, not to you I want to see get played. So I think that this, this is the team that I think Eddie Howe will put out on Sunday evening. Let's get it now, boys. So then, this is my predicted team for the game versus Spurs. We'll go through bottom to top as we always do and I'll explain some of the changes from our game versus Everton. As we all know, defence stays the same. Back to back clean sheets, best defence in the league, no one changes there. Unless there's an injury which Eddie Howe has not said in this press conference um, on Friday. So, Pope, Trippier, Shaw, Botman, Burn, keep it the same. Can't see Target getting brung in, you, you keep that defence, you, you kind of change it, simple as that. In the midfield, Bruno, Willock and Sean Longstaff. Bruno, we all know he's going to start. He had a really good game against Everton. When doesn't he have a good game? Really, really, really good. Obviously, he will start. Joe Linton's obviously been dropped. Um, he could play, could be on the bench, as Eddie Howe said. But I don't think it's worth risking. What is the point? What are the best players? What's the point playing them just to force another injury? Or tonight he's not even longer and he could be out for a much longer time. Especially when we've got a week to prepare for the next game against um, Aston Villa where he could be more fit for that game. So for me, you bring Willick and obviously he's an Arsenal boy, you want to beat Spurs. And I've been really impressed with Sean Longstaff in recent weeks. Obviously, he's always going to have that little ever in him. He's that type of player, but... The hard work that he put in, it's just not getting recognised. Eddie Out spoke about it in his press conference today being how pleased he'd been, been with Sean Longstaff in recent weeks. He's he's a player that gets gets slated a lot where he does the little things wrong. People don't speak about the hard work he puts in. I think just because he doesn't score assist every single game, he's, he's grafting his arse off every single game and fans don't seem to appreciate that and whatnot. That's why he's on the thumbnail because I feel like he needs a bit of recognition on his performances recently and hopefully he can um, carry it on in this game against Spurs. In the attack, I've kept it the same. I, I can't see him dropping Murphy for Fraser, but I would not be surprised. Alan Wan's form is incredible at the minute. Four goals this month. Um, hopefully he can score some more and potentially put himself in for um, play of the month. Imagine that card on FIFA, that would be absolutely lovely. And then, Wilton up front, Isaac's off fit, can't see him starting Chris Wood. That's my predictor team. Let me know if you would change anything in the comment section down below. Would you keep this team or would you bring someone else? And the only change is Willick in for Joe Linton for um, that injury. I think if Joe Linton was fit, you'd probably keep Joe Linton in and play along stuff how good he's been recently anyways boys that is the end of the team make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already see you all for the game tomorrow and hopefully Newcastle United can pick up three points how are you, the lads